Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. Charlie Plummer proves he's the young star on the rise for greatness in Words on Bathroom Walls. It's opening in theaters August 21st, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Plummer stars as Adam, a high school student who battles schizophrenia. The voices in his head continue to mount, so he is moved to a Catholic school as part of his treatment plan, on top of an experimental drug prescription program. There he meets his new math tutor, Maya, played by Taylor Russell. Maya is a force just like him, and is that person that he needs to challenge him and help him grow and accept himself. The film has a really great supporting cast, including Andy Garcia, Beth Grant, Walton Goggins, and Molly Parker. More on them in a little bit. Words on Bathroom Walls is directed by Thor Freudenthal and is adapted from the YA novel of the same name by Julia Wanton. It's one of two YA movies opening this weekend, with Chemical Hearts being the other. Now, by the looks of both posters, you would think that they're the exact same movie, but Words on Bathroom Walls stands out to me as the better of the two, as it shies away from the standard tropes. To me, Adam's schizophrenia and self-acceptance took center stage. We see the voices in his head uh, personified on screen with actors uh, appearing as those voices, including Anna Sophia Robb, Devin Bostic, and Lobo Sebastian. It's a smart choice to give context as to what's happening inside Adam's mind. The film works to destigmatize mental illness and asks the audience to not treat it as taboo or something that needs to be hidden. While his mother, played by Molly Parker, is supportive and tries her best, Adam needs other people in his life, like Maya or the school priest. Andy Garcia is wonderful as Father Patrick. He's comforting and non-judgmental toward Adam. Adam opens up to him and says, It's nice to be heard, not just observed. The film never makes Adam to be a one-treatment-fits-all type of patient. It's not trying to push pills or therapy sessions as if that's the only thing that will help him. It's a combination of factors. Time spent with loved ones, and time spent in the kitchen with his passion for cooking that is the help that Adam needs. The film has a well-rounded cast without a weak link. Charlie Plummer and Taylor Russell work well together, and it's great to see their careers continue to take off as they give open and honest uh, performances with complicated characters. Russell had a pivotal role in last year's Waves, which never got the traction it deserves. I highly recommend you check out that movie. Beth Grant is another standout as the stern headmistress. The title, Words on Bathroom Walls, acts as another metaphor for the voices and words he hears around him. It's a YA movie, much like The Perks of Being a Wallflower, that deals with real teen mental health issues instead of, you know, relying on the love story that unfolds. I mean, yes, there's a little bit of that here, but it's not the core storyline. If teens and their parents uh, watch this movie, it can hopefully open up uh, and have some real honest conversations about the subject. I'm giving words on bathroom walls for out of five ticket subs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. I actually got to interview Charlie Plummer and Taylor Russell, so you'll want to definitely check those interviews out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptomovies.com, for even more. Thank you so much for watching my review of Words on Bathroom Walls. This is Paul's trip to the movies.